Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So the last video about Open Door was pretty successful. It was going like this. Um, so a lot of people are interested in an open source door or open door. And I will continue to make videos about Open Door, of course, in the future when there are some updates, keep you, you know, up to date. Uh, but I also make, of course, Bitwig Studio videos. So this will continue. It's not like that I'm switching doors or anything like this, right? So um, today I'll show you something in Bitwig Studio because yesterday I tried something and it's pretty interesting. It's pretty simple, straightforward, and I probably never show, shown this on this channel. So I also give you here a second um, view to my keyboard so you can see what I'm playing because that's very important actually. Um, let me switch here to this one. Okay. So here in Bitwig, we want to use first a sound source. So I use a piano tech. Um, let's use this one. Let's see how it sounds. So it kind of works. Okay. So yesterday I want to create some kind of loopings or loops. Um, and I didn't want to use a VST. So I thought about, let's try out the delay one. So this delay is pretty old. It's around since the beginning of Bitwig Studio. And uh, we can choose between here uh, seconds or milliseconds, but we can also use a time-based uh, setting here. So we can choose three 16 nodes of delay, uh, which means this is dependent on the BPM. So 360 nodes of delay are pretty short. So let's mix in here the dry signal. You can hear it. Right, it's a pretty short delay. But we can also choose 16 16 nodes, which is actually one bar. And when we have here this filter completely open and we pull up this feedback volume to 0 dB and place something into the buffer. You can hear it plays endlessly without, you know, playing me playing on the keyboard. Um, but one bar is pretty short. It's basically nothing. It's, it's very short. So my idea was, how can I make this buffer actually longer? And you can do by just putting here another delay one into the F, FB, FX, into the yeah, feedback chain. So in here, we also choose 16, 16 nodes, which is one bar. Mix all the way up, feedbacks all the way down, and filters all completely open. So now we have here a delay of one bar and another bar, so two bars. And let me play something here. One bar delay, two bars delay. Okay. You can also choose three. So you can add as many as you want, of course. So now we have one, two, three bars of delay. Okay. So three full bars of delay, which is very long. Um, and we can do now the same thing as before. We can say feedback up, maybe zero to B, or maybe let's say on each iteration of the delay, we go 0 0.3 dB down in volume. So let's play something here. And you can hear it's it's basically not looping very well because yeah I don't know the timing there's no you know metronome to play to so it's pretty out of yeah out of the grid. So my idea yesterday was to actually play something without using the metronome. I'm using a quantizer and say quantize everything every incoming node to an eight node grid. So now I can't play out of out of the beat grid with my keyboard because everything is quantized on the fly. Okay, so I can now do the same thing here. Yeah, 
You can hear. I don't play anything, you can see it. it plays perfectly in time, so the loop is tight. It's synced. You can even switch on here the metronome. So it's perfectly aligned. Just using this quantizer here in front of the piano. And this loops kind of endlessly. Maybe you go down here a bit to the volume over time. And now um, you can feed some some more audio into this three bar long loop. Or maybe an octave lower. also change the sound source here to something different or maybe use a reverb um, push this up and then feature this piano into this reverb and then into the delay buffer see how this sounds fantastic okay let's switch switch this off actually you can't delete the buffer you have to pull the feedback down um, so what we can do now is we can uh, put this into an FX layer right we use control and G And here we have three bars of delay. Let's actually remove this. So here we have three bars of delay. So we duplicate this here. Let's say three bars here. So here we do uh, three bars and alpha bar of delay. So a different, you know, length. We have them polyrhythms at the end. So this is the, this is the idea. And here maybe we do something a bit shorter. We do uh, maybe two or maybe one bar and a half or three quarters. So yeah, let's try this one. Then we can use a tool device in front and we don't want to feed anything into this, this um, layer here. And maybe nothing in this layer, only in this layer. We also push up here the mix and use this mix instead. Yeah. Uh, we also need this here. Okay, so now we want to record first into the three bars uh, layer here. So we push up the volume, so we feed something into the delay and we push up here the feedback to maybe minus 0 .0 0 0.1 and we can play something into the loop. Okay, pull this down. Then we play something in this loop. That's the idea. And maybe without the reverb this time. And one octave lower. Okay. 
And then we play something here into this, which is actually not three bars, it's one bar. Uh, one bar. And one fourth. Or three fourth. Feedback up and this up. Okay, so let's try another one. Delay one and make this one here a bit longer. Um, this is okay. Duplicate four, five, six. Yeah, let's stick with six. Don't make it too long. This goes up, beat back up. Then you create layers upon layers with different loop lengths and you have like this kind of um, um, what's it called audio overdub that you can use up this is all down okay and now we can instead of this piano we can maybe use a synth and reverb Maybe you use here unison, uh, union. This one and a bit of delay or LFO. Uh, this should be fine. too loud. <laughs> yeah, of course you can uh, use inside of these chains some more audio effects to degrade on every iteration of the feedback loop. 
maybe put a uh, you know noise on it slightly and then it gets noisier with each with each iteration or maybe use the filters here Yeah, and it's basically um, synchronized here, still. So you can record this here with the master record feature. And then use it as a sample for an next track project or whatever. So this is what I did yesterday and I think it's really nice just to use multiple delay ones and chain them together here, stack them, nest them and you get a nice big long polyrhythmic looping device um, just with this. It's very nice to use. It's very fun to use. You can hear, you can create ambient tracks with this in no time. Okay, so yeah, that's it. This, this is what I want to show you. This is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, let me know what you think. If you already do this, let me know. I think it's a great, great trick. It's very simple, straightforward, and it leads to a lot of interesting um, and cool results. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a subscription. See you next time. Bye.